probably more efficient ways to place it i i get the customization thing over here but i did I, I would have liked us to be able to to at least place one or two really big uh tables with chairs so i don't have to place each of it individually okay so we'll open up our first stuff over here so hopefully there's a lot of people that's gonna uh, go through here okay now let's uh, get a contract valentino let's open up valentino over here now let's uh let's get a shop on the other side this will be the first airport amenities over here 22 by 11 is the sizing that we're using we'll do a similar uh spot over here for the uh for these guys for the cashiers and oops let's uh let's add some of these things uh probably go with medium and what we'll do is we'll run a few of them in here so people will have to kind of walk through that um, and then we'll go with some of the smaller ones right there so welcome to duty free over here oops not that one one over there and one over there no one over there and one over there that should be okay let's get a, a contract signed this will be paper plane so we'll sign paper plane over there hopefully people will be a little bit happier now that these are open um i honestly wish that there was an option similar to auto planner for shops and eating spots i couldn't agree with you more you zone it a la yeah yeah coffee shops yeah and then it feels like <laughs> city skylines and it feels like with objects and does contracts automatically yeah yeah absolutely i agree um if you just zone it and it pops in it would work very well because and i do believe that's kind of how they do it at airports anyway they just kind of allow the little little store areas and then they just kind of pop in there will also be lounges in alpha 35 so that's something that i'm looking forward to placing a bit of lounges wow look at them go over here they're just going to town on the store how's our sales going well shooting up everybody's spending like a hundred dollars over here well close to really shooting up in sales over there where will we get to 9200 i do not know over here getting there too having some meals people hanging around over here they do like coming up in the center there uh, oh, I mean, that's going down, actually. Ooh. There we go. Seems to be working. Everything seems okay. We don't have anybody parking in these new spots. Oh, we have a few. They're just not there at the moment. Okay. Oh, I still wanted to see a small plane land. And I wanted to check this. So let's uh, let's keep keep an eye on the on that. Okay, that one is working. Ooh yes okay you're you're undermining my one-way system buddy i want to see a small one land though there it is oh it's missing that one okay fine what we're doing now is i'm going to fix that by adding oops that's the wrong way around let's go with this one. Ooh. okay well let's get rid of that oh no get Put that one back in there uh, and we'll get rid of this one and we'll see about slotting it in here somewhere I think I think that I think it should work over there so there we go so let's uh, let's make sure that that is this direction and that is that direction perfect now we need to just tie these up together over here do that close that out close that out and it's not ideal that they don't line up with these but I kind of wonder whether we shouldn't just get them to I think it's important that we actually run them straight down here and straight down there and then what we'll do is we'll close that off we'll close that off we'll open up a little bit of extra taxiway over here 
um, something like this it's gonna look a little weird I must say and now I can't see because it's dark and we don't have any lights um, and we'll close off that section and we'll close off that section and we'll slot in these guys we'll make sure they connect all together over there we will set that to two-way instead we will set this to one way We'll set that to two way and instead we'll set this to one way. Um, I think that's okay. Let's make sure we set that to one way and we'll set that to, to oh no, this one we'll set that one to two way. We'll set, oops, this one to one way and we will set that one to two-way. So I think that should now be a more efficient use of our runway. So we'll keep an eye and see if we get any, any other smaller planes that's gonna land and whether it works straight away. Check the direction on the new runway exits. That's fine, that's fine, it's working. Why are you stopping? Oh, you were just waiting, okay, for the path. Okay, that's okay. I don't want you to be stopping right over there. You should have like right of way. But that's okay, it all seems pretty reasonable. That's okay, yeah, that works quite well, actually. That works well. Check the direction on the new runway exits. I think that's fine. That direction over there and that direction over there, yeah. Outbound, outbound, no entry. Runway ahead over there, good. Yes, they're working. They are in fact working. The two-way system is working. Okay, let's have a look, see how our operation is looking at the moment. It is pretty green all around. Maybe a little slow in terms of boarding, but meh, what can you do? But our operation is good. Let's have a look at the other stats. So if we look at this, we need more janitors. Of course we need more janitors because I don't know what's wrong with this game. Um, and then our vehicles are still fine. Absolutely fine. Let's add more janitors. Let's get it back into the console and we'll add some janitors to the mix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. At least you guys know I can count now. Can't do much else, but at least you know I can count. Mm, I'm kind of wondering whether I are. Ah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take out this opportunity, put some plants in there so it doesn't look as funny. Look at that. Look at that. This is something we haven't done. We haven't done that kind of fancy arrangements over here yet. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll do a similar thing on this side. Whoops. There's still a lot of space that we have over here that's not really being used. Go upstairs and we will do a similar thing over there. Just run that in there. And similarly we'll do the same thing over here. So what's going on over here? Everybody's kind of waiting around. We don't have uh, bathrooms on the edges. We probably need stores plus bathrooms right here on the edges. On the edges, we've got these over here, but they're probably a little far away if you're boarding a plane right on the edge over here. So that could be a thing. I mean, if you look at what we did down here, we have these small bathrooms right here next to the, your stands. Small stands are working quite well. How's that guy doing? How's this guy doing? Don't know if we'll get there, but there's pl plenty of being sold here. How is our money going? In the previous hour, we actually made money. But it's going to take a time to get, get all that sorted out. Stores are better in centers of the floors. Uh, are you meaning like here? Or are you meaning like just in terms of, just in terms of uh, where the passenger... Uh, passenger footfall is obviously in the edges there's not a lot of working there I think uh, it will get less visitors if you put yes absolutely agreed so in terms of passenger footfall um, the center is is the way to go 
I'm also kind of tempted to do some stuff over here. But it's not, to be honest, it's not a big priority for me. But I do want to make sure our rating goes up. Um, amenities is still not where they want it to be. Uh, security rating is pretty good. Um, the stuff is a little bit more pricey than it should be. I want to do a bit of an experiment. So at the moment, our aircraft consumables, it's 36%. <clears throat> so let's go in here. We'll go to our fees. Okay. And I'm going to just drop the consumables down to almost nothing. So you'll just almost not pay for fuel, right? Catering meals will be like free, free for you guys. Cabin cleaning is already free. The icing fluid, well, I'll drop it. Not that we're using it, but I'll drop it anyway. Bathroom usage is free. Passenger handling fee. Uh, let's, before we change that, we leave that as is. And we'll see if these consumables die themselves. If we drop them to under 50%, if it does anything. Okay, so we'll leave that running for a, for a bit. And then we'll have a look. <clears throat> Look at that, look at that. Okay, so with this thing operating, very few queues, no real delays. Um, I think the schedule is pretty, pretty packed. It could be more packed than it is at the moment. But, but I think it's pretty good. I kind of like the fact that there are gaps in between so you'd have some open stands at some times just so the airport can recover a little bit from big heavy uh, busy periods so with all of that in mind and i'm going to check the score now whether the score has changed at all oh look at that Cons uh, still not great though Enough bathrooms and the likes. Okay, let's add an extra bathroom over here on the on the end. Um, I'll just copy this, just like that. Thank you very much. And what we'll do is we will place it uh, like that. Okay, and I'm going to copy the other well I probably should have done it already copy the other side okay like so and we'll place the this one over here okay and now this will be the this will be the female restroom open that up this will be the male restroom open that up and we'll get some new flooring in there some stuff like this Look at that. So we've got a bathroom on that edge now. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just copy that thing straight out. Like this. Okay, and we'll move and we'll do a copy of that. Right over here. Something like that spot right there. Is where I'm at. Uh, this will be the male one and that'll be the female one. And we'll open it up and we'll open it up. And we'll get a different style of flooring in there also. Just like so. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now, let's uh, go back to our scores, our, our seating, our scoring. And we'll have a look. Again with consumable. Ooh. I think those bathrooms just popped them up right over there. Why is security? Oh, security staff skill. Okay. Now. The next thing we can quickly have a look at is we can quickly go ahead and train everybody that is pretty bad at their jobs. So let's go ahead and train everybody to get into the green. Spend all kinds of cash on getting people to green. Let's max train that guy as well. Let's just max train everybody. Ooh, we've got a max trained person that's still on the amber. Like that, like that, like that. And let's do this. Let's go back. Let's yeah. Let's train tons more people. Again, you should just have mandate. You should just have a setting where you say train everybody until they are a certain level. And this is the amount of money you want to spend or whatever. There needs to be. I feel there needs to be stuff like that. Uh, 
here we go and this way and that way how are you guys how are you guys enjoying the airport is the airport looking pretty good are you feeling uh we're we're kind of getting there is this a better airport do you like the sandbox build a little bit more than the um than the uh than the the, the natural growth or do you like the uh the sandbox thing the natural growth sorry do you like the natural growth we would kind of roll with the punches see how we go and and then and then try and figure things out this one's not going to be great max trained so many of these max trained ones it's not quite where we want them just yet i'm hoping that this will improve our security rating a little bit if we add a few of these security guards better trained there we go um the lack of stuff that's coming in alpha 35 is definitely noticeable <laughs> yeah well it's only now because i told you about it if you if i didn't you'd probably not notice well i'm sure you've read the read the uh the devlog blog dev blog okay so now we've done what we can in terms of training these guys hopefully that helps our rating get that up a little bit these things go up and down very slow there's all kinds of variability going on recent passenger opinion of how staff desks treated them well we've we've now improved that <clears throat> hiring talented so we've improved this so that should go up um improve the building and if bathroom seating food oh seating we need seating i mean i li uh i linked it on the discord so yeah of course of course oh <laughs> stop spamming symbols no it's okay i like symbols symbols are good <laughs> I can't understand nightbot see this maybe this is why we need why we need human moderators on the dis uh, on the on the chat instead of nightbot huh anybody have problems with nightbot on other channels maybe seating so seating is one of the things we can use to, uh, to get our our stuff working a little bit better so what I'll do is I will go ahead and slot some nice seating for these guys in here while they wait for their bags right that looks to be a reasonable thing to do similarly we'll do that over there no get that in line buddy come on with the clicking the clicking and the lag that looks better now let's uh, continue to do it over here So now people don't have to stand and wait for the bags or not everybody at least hopefully that's okay the other part that i wanted to do some seating is externally on the outside over here now my question is these are outside benches so let's let's see about uh placing them uh like so okay will people actually use them yes immediately people are starting to use them so might be a good idea for us to do a little bit more of that make sure that there is enough places for people to sit and wait there's also the old bus stop shelter thing that i can look at but this is underground of course so whether you really need an extra shelter um i don't i don't i'm not quite sure um if we do a little bit of that that should be fine so there's some seating going on over there we could probably do a very similar thing over here tons more seating going on there i was wondering whether we should make it like one way so there's that uh we'll do very similar things over here no make sure they're uh, a little bit spaced we're actually doing these stands on top of the or these seats on top of the actual asset so that's quite an interesting 
way of doing it. Okay, so there we go. So there's some seating available straight away. Yeah, don't worry about too much about Nightbot. Nightbot is a little uh, over eager to uh, just to uh, get people sorted. Um, if they if they start, uh, you know, doing a few too many symbols, but yeah, I don't I don't don't worry about it too much. I just haven't gone and tweaked the the this, the the settings for Nightbot all that much just yet. I'll probably get to it someday. We'll add some more seating over here just to make sure that everybody has a spot they can actually sit. Whether we need to add seating here before check-in, I'm not sure. Oh, one of the other things in Alpha 35 that's looking pretty cool is the whole um, the fact that you can just link all the check-in desks and they can uh, check in all the time and then definitely the self check-in stuff is, is really cool. I really do like that. I could probably copy and paste this, can't I? There we go. I posted it on Discord so we don't forget about it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I've, I've gone through it there and I thank you so much for, for, for sharing it with the community. Um, I tend to stay up to date with their, with their blogs quite a bit because, yeah, well, I like it. I like what they're doing. They are really... Um, these these devs are really awesome. They are really putting a lot of effort in it, and this is growing just tremendously. Let's uh, add a few seats over here, but I also think we should probably add a couple of a couple of shops, maybe something over here, maybe as a little bit of shop, not 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 down this sec section. So what we'll do is let's say we'll do that. Yeah, let's do let's do a little bit of this. We'll add some seating over here. So there is some seating available, but I don't think we need tons of seating over here. And then we'll, yeah, do the opposite on this side. Yeah, that's nice. This will be, this will, this will, I think this should be sufficient. And then we still have kind of these corners over here that we can do some shops with or potentially one day use them for self check in. Okay, so that gives us a fair bit of seating. Those seats are pretty well used over there. Okay, so that gives us a fair bit going on. Let's quickly have another look at this stuff. Uh, we're not seeming to get enough of the baggage loaded. Do we have baggage car problems? No. Do we have ramp agent problems? Not either. So why are we having problems with loading this stuff? Is there a glitch? Are these guys working? Baggage cars seems to be coming in nicely, doing this thing. These guys are coming in, they're working, no problems whatsoever. Okay, with that in mind, let's quickly start moving on to what will happen on the other side. We're going to do another about a half an hour of this stream. Um, so we'll start looking at the planning on the other side a little bit, where the large planes are going to go. But as, as for the moment, it is working pretty well. I've got no issues with traffic, not on the service roads, not on the taxiways. Everything seems to be quite well used and working. And I think the two, the two runway setup that we've got going on over here will be really, will work really well. There could be a little bit of a problem with queuing though. I can see, I can see that becoming some sort of a problem. Okay, now with that in mind, how did we how did we go about finding the spot where this is actually going? So I'm going to kind of replicate this on the other side. So that's going to be that's going to be challenging. Let's quickly have a look. So if we go this, come on, can we have an idea of how sizable this is? That is 151 by 10 and it is 12 from the edges. I believe it should be 12 from both edges. Oh, 11 from the one edge, 12 from the other edge. Hmm. And how far is it from this edge? It is 25 from the edge. 
So if we say 25 from the edge over there and if we say 11 from that side too much so if we say 11 from that edge it means right over there okay so that's it and then it is what was it 10 by 151 So we'll do 9 by 151. 9 by 151 over here. So it's not completely sy uh, symmetrical. But uh, so uh, just kind of give you, you know, give your OCD a bit of a rub over there because we're going to, we're going to probably upset it with, uh, with, with that little, little bit off there. And then we'll clear out those guys. We're on the first floor, right? Yeah, we're on zero. The ground floor, at least. Okay, so that's kind of what I have in mind in terms of the uh, the other one. We obviously want to double that up as we bring in the very super large stands over here. So let's bring in our super large stands. How far are we away? Are we starting it? We obviously don't want to do well. Do we do it in the center though? Should we just start it on the edge and see where it goes? Maybe that's the right thing for us to do. Let's do that and see what we get. We still need to get the um, the actual jetways in here though. Okay. I wonder how many we can squeeze in here before we... Uh, don't do that. Please don't do that. Oh, not what I had in mind. Clear that one off. Close it. Clear it. Thank you. Try it again. So as this stuff gets busier, there's gets, there's, gets this lag. The game gets this lag and that means that you can click and then it's kind of delayed and then when you move the mouse, it ends up... Uh, getting plopped up somewhere else okay so it seems like another one might be problematic but let's see how many we have here now two four six eight nine oh uh, I think we could do with one more we could actually squeeze one more in there though so let's do one more that's workable Not the biggest fan of what we're doing over there. Okay, now, with these guys, we will now need some taxiway. Taxiway over here. Seven wide, right? So let's just run it up all the way to the edge there, and we'll tie this guy in there, and we will... Uh, potentially just run it all the way over there as well and we'll tie that guy in over there okay so that's one potential direction now because this is coming from the other side ooh, I don't know whether we actually have enough room here so let's uh, how, how far did it, we just put it straight away so let's put seven in there Yeah, so with seven in there, we don't actually have, ah, uh, do we? Oh, <laughs> look at that. But that's going to feel really weird, isn't it? Look at this. So if we just do one big tarmac strip over there, could, could be working, could be workable. Okay, so let's see. If we said that's one way and we run this one in this direction then that's one way this way and it goes that way and then it joins up over here again so let's uh let's tie that in there we'll run this up there we'll run this all the way over there tie it in uh like so and we need to do make sure that this uh, is maintained as kind of one way 
um, in that direction. Similarly, I want to make sure that this one says the same thing, but that's one way in this direction. And then that runs this way. So runs that way. Okay, so we'll make sure that that says one way that way. And that that says um, one way in that direction. Okay, so that's one way in that direction. Now the next one around will be one in the other direction. So if we say link that up and then that is three, one, two, three. So this one goes in the opposite direction. Like so, like so. And then we say one, two, three. This one goes into that direction again. I'm not sure we need all of this, but and potentially I need to move this in here instead, but that's okay for now. So this one will go that way. This one will go that way. This one. The symmetry though. Yes, 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 I know the symmetry, but that's the problem if you've got medium stands and then large stands. The symmetry will end up killing you. No, this one needs to go that way. This one needs to go the other way. Okay, we'll see if we need all of this. We may, we may do it. It's just gonna. It's not gonna be symmetrical. It's definitely not gonna be. Just have a look. How far is this apart? We've got a big chunk that's a, that's uh, available in between it we'll see what we need to do here we'll see what we need to do okay but first things first we're going to need to say get our um, get our small planes off somewhere over here because we will have small planes again and then a lot of the larger planes over there or the medium planes we won't be able to, well, we can say this will be large planes only. Actually, maybe that's just what we do. We just say that and this is large planes only and that's that's the hell with it. That's the end of it. And then we may not need all of this. Then we could just do with one, two kind of operations over there. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now, maybe more the terminal and stand style, uh, move the terminal and stands one tile up. Although that will be probably painfully hard. No, it's not that difficult, especially since we're playing sandbox. We can move this a little bit. Because the thing that is over here, we won't necessarily have all of that. We'll just have this little section. So we could potentially score a little bit of room on the other side. But the other thing that I'm thinking is I don't think we need the double loading here. I don't think we need the double loading here. I don't think we need all these directions. But yes, we could definitely move things up a little bit. But let me quickly have a look. So if we say we're going to grab the big stand, oh, we can, we can, let's move it up. Let's move it up like halfway. Let's move five up the other way. Let's go here and say an extra five. Run it down that side. Come on, don't be, oh yes, okay. An extra five like that, okay. Not painfully hard since we haven't done too much yet. Um, it's not that bad. And then we'll get rid of these fives. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time now because the, the, uh, the whole thing is a little busier. And then we'll, oh, this'll be, this'll be the painful piece. This uh, one by one clicking of uh, demolition over here. How much did we get back? Half of it. Not that we are worried too bit about the money though. There we go. There we go. Close it. There we go. Close it and get rid of it. Okay. 
Get rid of that one. And this one over there. And this one over there. Okay. Now we can go ahead and do it one more time. So let's, uh, but the also what we could do is we can see about, no, I think that just like that should be fine. And we'll put the 10 big ones in there, 10 big stands. Just need to make sure that we get rid of whatever it is this zoning is over here. I think it's secure, secure zoning. Is that going to sort it out? Uh, so it's not secure, it's staff. Is that what it is? Okay, well, let's get rid of staff zoning. Oh, there it goes. Everything gone. Okay, now let's try that one more time, shall we? Second time lucky on these guys. Let's, uh, and I'm kind of tempted to squeeze it in a little bit more over there. Actually, we don't want it. We don't want that guy right up against the wall there. So we'll do that as the first one. And then we'll uh, just slot them in nice and tight. Man, we're getting there. We, are, we won't see, I'm very sure we won't see, um, we, we won't see the big boys arrive in this, uh, in this stream because there's now a ton of stuff to get ready for them on this terminal. It goes much quicker if we, uh, if we play sandbox, doesn't it? We have to save money for all of these big stands. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Okay, now let's uh, let's go and redo redo the um, the taxiways. And I don't like what we've done with the taxiway over there anyway. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's get rid of all of the taxiways. Thank you very much. Oh no! I hope it doesn't crash. Oh, it didn't crash. Nice. So we got rid of that. I hope it gets rid of whatever those things are. Those nodes. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. Let's start off on this side. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, I still, I need to, I need to get, get rid of this though. That's probably why I probably need to get rid of it first. Okay, get rid of all of that. That didn't work because I clicked something. Come on. Here we go. Get rid of all of this. And squeeze that in there okay good now what i didn't like about this i don't want this to loop all the way over there <clears throat> but we do seem to have a little bit of a challenge on our hands in terms of getting it to work now so let's say seven all, all the way to the end there okay then we leave a gap of one and we seven it again Okay, then we leave a gap of one and we seven it again. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, and now this is the one I actually want to tie in over here. Okay, and we'll tie that over there. It's still not going to be symmetrical though, but it will be, it will look a little bit better. And this is going to be the one I'm going to tie in over here. And since we've got our directions in place, Okay, this needs to be seven, right? At least seven. I can't actually see whether it is seven. If you just do the one, seven and seven, 
and we'll see about slotting them in properly now Ooh, and this is seven no forget about that we need to do the seven thing over here like that seven and seven right over there and we'll get to finishing that off now so this is running that way around so this one has to go this way then that one goes that way and then that one i think is oh we need to find a little loopy loop things in there loopy loop things okay now let's get these little nodes uh going we'll tie that across this direction we'll tie that down here we'll link that up there we'll link that this way then we go down here we'll tie that through this way and we'll go down here and we'll tie that in all the way over there question do we need to run it all the way to the edge there well it's not going to make that much difference it's all all asymmetrical anyway in this instance okay so that one when is going this way so here we need to just set it as one way in that direction set it as a uh, one way in that direction okay this will be the inbound and that'll be the the out so that'll go this way to go down there well it'll go this way and then it'll and then it'll loop Ooh, and then this will be the yeah okay it's not going to be great it's not going to be great let's have uh, access points straight in the middle one two three four five so somewhere over here i'm going to go ahead and install my my middle ground Ooh, it's still not going to be one two three four five six seven so something like that then we'll go ahead and do that and we'll tie them all together like so we'll be sure to do that kind of thing nice now we just need to see how we finish that off okay so the idea is you come off here then this goes this way so this one goes that way then you go and tie in over there or you go and tie in over that side and then you come back out and you go this way or you come back out and you go that way hmm i like it i like it now let's uh let's make sure we do that though so this one needs to be one way in that direction this one needs to be one way in uh, that direction and then this one is one way in this direction okay so this one one way this direction this one one way that way like so and what we'll do is we'll one way that direction it let's just make sure it's on the same one two way that way that way and then this thing can be two way i like it i like it that's one really well i'm not i'm not sure let's let's see if that works we'll see if it works um it'll be one way ooh, 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 that way and this one will be one way this way yeah that'll work that i think will work okay how does that look a little better a little worse how busy is everything else going pretty full schedule maybe we should add a few more uh, contracts let's quickly grab that oops 
grab ourselves another contract or two so the offered contracts and we'll see now we'll grab tulip airlines thank you very much welcome to the family okay air thank you very much and welcome to the family mm, we'll leave it with those two for now hopefully that does a bit of a trick definitely an improvement i'm happy to hear it i'm happy to hear it okay now we need to double up the levels over here uh the next level please double that up thank you second floor is ready for business uh we need to upgrade all of these to to jetways Ooh, make sure the area is secure of course you can't build that zoomed out all the way over there and there we go start go go yeah okay now let's uh jetway this stuff up make sure you have a security checkpoint connection from the upper floor uh okay so it's not going to work until we get the rest of the stuff over there okay how did we want to do that we wanted to go ahead and say guys we're going to grab a tunnel a public tunnel oh we can't can't build in on this floor but what I'm worried about well we'll just do it this way how what's going on underground here oh there is a little bit of something going on there but we're gonna ignore it and we're just gonna do uh, something like this okay we're gonna grab this guy like so and like so so now these guys will be able to get to the other side we will okay let's see about this thing this thing that we're gonna double up on that side go left from where it goes to the first terminal you mean Oh, you're saying go from here, from this side. Oh, no need for tunnels? Oh, no, definitely need for tunnels. We can't run it through any of this. Can't run on top of this, so we're going to have to do tunnels. I want to I wanna do a similar thing on this side, right over here. I'm just thinking that area seems to be a bit smaller now. But anyway, let's, uh, let's build that and we'll sort the tunnel out now. Let's see, what's the size of this thing? 10 10 by let's start off with a 10 by 51 from the middle basically where is the middle the middle is there so it'll be 26 this way 26 by 10 Okay, so that, and then it'll be 25 by 10 on the other one. It's a little easier to build it this way, though. Yeah, no, no space on the sides. We'll have to do tunnel, but that was kind of the plan. The plan from the get-go was that there will be, that that will be the case. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of these walls here, and I don't think we're going to expand this section further. We'll just have to make do with this little bit. So it's not going to be completely uh, a symmetrical piece, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so what we want to do in here in our last 10 minutes, let's see about getting our drop off sorted out. So I'm going to play another 10 more minutes and then we're going to call it at the end. Okay, so I want us to, let's do, let's do this. So I'll, I'll leave one space there. One, two, three, four. Well, it doesn't really matter how many, however many we got we fit in here but anyway that these are our bus stops then we're going to have a little section of road then we're going to have the others and another Ooh, you know what we're missing how many do we have two four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven twelve we need to after six have a little gap there 
and then we go with the next six this was all how we did it on the other side now it's going all dark and well I can't see so I'm very sure you can't see um, I wonder if they will allow more external connections in the future versions that would be really awesome if we and not not necessarily more external connections but maybe just from this side or maybe oddly shaped um, oddly shaped pieces of land how cool would oddly shaped pieces of land be if we did that that would be really awesome okay so there's the gap over there let's do that and then we'll run this one yeah this is going to be the pretty much the fit for us let's see about doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that and then we'll find uh, where we where we actually tie these together Okay, let's stay with that like so and then we'll get ourselves the um, the taxi stops and they will go well I'm going to start it in over here so we'll start it from the center and we'll see where we end up with yep they go all the way to the end Just like this and the question is do we do we're probably going to do multi levels again on this side as well for the drop offs and pickups yeah we will so that's kind of the idea then we'll do some check-in desks over here we'll do a, effectively a revamp of the other side but this will be for the super large planes and we'll see we'll need to give have a big ramp up in terms of how many how many everything how many of everything they're going to be able to accommodate here um okay and then downstairs we will do effectively exactly the same so let's see can we can we well before we do that let's grab the final bits and pieces as well so i want us to grab the metros Ooh, this time around we may do it this way let's do two of them over there and two of them on the other side okay and then we're going to do the oop, these um these crossings over here don't think we need that crossing that's okay but we will need um the pedestrian sidewalk thingy things oh no don't be doing this can i close these oh geez please don't pop up over here that's the worst that's the worst stop 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 it's causing all kinds of crises at the moment people are just kind of happening to arrive here now no need for it but they're here you know what these kind of things if, if you build it they should be closed and you should have to open them manually from there otherwise you just end up with this disaster that we've got going on here can you please copy all of that for us yeah yeah we'll be in the unlocked area it doesn't copy it copies some stuff but it doesn't actually copy the stuff that we wanted for it to be copied okay so we go off by one little piece there so we'll just have to redo the same thing on the bottom there so let's go with the bus stands we'll go downstairs we'll turn them around actually go up one and see where we started we started one in so we'll just do that one two three four five six one gap and there we go five and six there we go and now well we actually need the terminal building so let's let's go ahead and build this section over here i think that should be sufficient now they're stuck there absolutely until we open this up there's no way of getting them and the i the the, the mere fact that they've arrived here was just crazy just crazy well let's close all of this maybe they'll disappear it seems like that's the case 
I think all of this stuff should just start open, uh, start closed when you build them. Yes, let's close all of this and see if we get rid of it. Because I'm looking for the bathroom and all kinds of things. Probably make use waiting for taxis over here now. Should have built the uh, metros, the last thing. That was the, that's some, that's a lesson learned. If you are building an isolated um, area, make sure you build the metro at the end because otherwise you end up with uh, what I've got over here with some people randomly hanging out on your drop off area because they can't do anything else and they can't get out. Okay, hopefully if we close that they will slowly disappear. It seems like that helped. They did disappear indeed. So I'm happy. We need to make sure that we close all of this. We need to pause the game when we when we place these things. Well the the, the ones where the, the metro is where they can just pop out. Okay and let's quickly build the rest of this need a little bit of public road to go through there actually a little bit longer and go back and do that and then we'll do the taxi way taxi stands I've learned my lesson with the uh, with the car stands. They just get crazy busy, so I'm not using them anymore. To be honest, I don't even want to use the taxi and the bus stands. I just want the um, just want the metro. Our airport will be really sustainable, green. Everybody travels not by car but by metro. Some bike racks, maybe. Um, let's get our. Um, get these uh, little sidewalk sections in there and our crossing I'm going to close all of these down hopefully people can get from the one side to the other side using metro because there won't be any walkways in between the terminals maybe we'll add one later if alpha 30 or 5 gives us travelators or moving walkways or whatever they want to call it walkalators or something but for now, this is going to be it. This is another little tedious thing. I'm sure they don't want you to be closing down all of these things one by one. Okay. Um, I'm going to pause the game and we're going to slot in those metro stations. And I'm going to lock them down. Two over this side over that side and we're gonna lock them down immediately like so and like so we're gonna put in the the walkways and then we're quickly gonna it's gonna be the end of the episode or be, be the end of the stream let's just quickly squeeze those in there perfect uh, now I imagine that later you will need to open all the all of that. Yes, I will have to open all of that again later. Okay, that's kind of the end of it. The last two minutes, we'll quickly just have a look at what is going on at the airport. So we've got our taxiways, not too congested. There's a lot of traffic going on over here, um, but not too congested. We've opened up um, some of our stands, some of our check-ins. I mean, some of our security, some of our check-ins. All of our stands are open and it's working pretty well. The runway doesn't seem too busy, the stands doesn't seem too busy, the airport doesn't seem too busy. Even down here, baggage claim, no problem, security, bathrooms, all of that seems just fine. We'll have a, one more quick look at our operations. If we look at the staff members, apart from janitors, that's always a problem. It's, there's no problems. Um, and then from a vehicle perspective, we're also happy with our vehicles. So all of that is still working wonderfully. Okay, guys, so that's where I'm going to put an end to it. Thank you so much for coming out, joining the stream, and having tons of fun with me. Um, 
in the next episode we will continue this bad boy over here and get our large extra large planes up and running we'll see how we connect all of that up there but for now i think this is kind of the setup that we're going to go for thank you so much for coming out i will see you next time uh if you've liked it subscribe hit the hit the bell hit the like you know follow me <laughs> all those kind of things and I will see you next time. Leave some comments down below also. If you if you think we missed something, leave them down below. And join us on the Discord. In between uh, streams, we have, have good chats on the Discord. So the link will be down below in the, in the, uh, in the description of the video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.